you need originality to actually survive throughout Chicago. I mean, uh, just greatness. If you look at any Chicago artist for us, like, I've been to like numerous amount of cities just around the world. And, and when you know a Chicago guy is there, he stands out. He actually takes over. So just imagine oh, just dealing with that amongst local Chicagoans. You know, they don't pay attention. They don't support what you do unless it's some type of fire behind it, some type of buzz, some type of greatness, some type of respect. So being a Chicago artist, I mean, it pulls the, I mean, just the most up out of you. As a man, I mean, as an individual, as someone that needs to be great because you know the critics, <laughs> it's times a thousand. Man, how I feel about the thing that inspires me the most about this city that makes me uh, projected into my artistry is the fact that I know that what I say and the uh, music that I create it has an influence on people and it inspires people. And simply, I'm looking at the city at where it is right now with you know the, the negative stuff that takes place and the media uh, really like showcasing the negativity. I feel like more so than anything else, um, what drives me as an artist is simply uh, I'm inspired by being an inspiration. You know, and I, I teach the principle of apply yourself to supply your wealth. And the only limitations you ever have are those that you place upon yourself. That's simply Chicago bread. Because I've seen a lot of guys, man, at one point, they ain't had nothing. They made it up. Then some of them, they took off. Others, man, they back at the point where they all started. You know, it teaches you the uh, proper preparation prevents poor performance. Look, listen, and learn. Exercise that and man, you'll have your turn. Isn't.